Another little interesting factoid, uh, Bokang Masanyami has competed in the Commonwealth Games in uh, Glasgow, my home country, oh, back wow. in 2014. That is cool. Bokang Masanyani! Bokang Masanyani! Yusuke Ogikubo! Ogikubo making his 20th professional appearance here tonight. Obviously more experienced than Masanyane, but the, the physical condition of Masanyane, if, if you've watched any of his previous <laughs> fights, he's just so athletic and so fast. He's, he moves incredibly well. That's right, you can see just uh, pre fight. Ba jump and kick off the cage there. Yeah, just effortless. I mean, loads of spring in his step. Just straight in Ogikubo's face. Oh, you Ooh. can just see that speed. Uh, the, Already the exchanging hard and heavy blows in the first 10 seconds. Ogikubo staying very low. And that's how he's going to combat that, the speed and uh, strength of... Uh, uh, Look at the wrestling BK. of BK. Wow. Wow. Dumps him down, stands back up and says, okay, let's keep moving, Ogikubu. <laughs> <He> forced <laughs> to get back to his feet oh, he almost swallow his pride. He almost made that look too easy. And he just landed a nice high kick against Ogikubo. The crowd loving the action here from the South African. Just very unorthodox. I think he's catching Ogikubo with these unorthodox movements right now. Ogikubo. Showing some initi initiative and, and uh, oh, nice. shooting that takedown himself, <laughs> but wow! Look at the balance and the scrambling skills of Ogikubo. Yes. I mean, not Ogikubo, but Masanyane. Yeah, straight off that single leg into the into the takedown, right. the dominant position here in half guard. Looks like he's going to step through into oh, side and mount already, already past the guard of Ogikubo. He's inside, threatening to take the back. Just effortless movement here from Masanyane. Right, Masanyane's got the two on one on Ogikubo's hands. Oh. Actually, uh, it's Ogikubo has the, the risk control on uh, Musanyane, and he's being defensive. But he is in the top position. Fantastically exciting Pancras debut so far right. from BK Masanyane. Ogikubo has a hold of Masanyane's uh, uh, wrist. He's uh, threatening with that Kimura lock. But let's see what Masanyana does. He's still in the, uh, the favorable position here. He's in the top. Manning down knees to the kidneys of Ogikubo. Yeah, just keep pressure on regardless of where he is. Oh, that one looked like a good one. Dragging him back. Ogikubo has to get a little proactive here. He can't just hold on to this. Uh, those gloves will slip out eventually. Yeah, and, and they do. We're trying to roll out. Just nice manhandling of the transitions nice here from BK. Outstandingly good. His wrestling, impressive. That's right. But good instincts from Ogikubo. He's rolling the right way. He's rolling the correct way. Staying out. Wow. Drops him again. Wow. And to Musanyani's credit, this time he, he retains back control. Ogikubo needs to find an answer. He needs to defend that uh, position. Yeah, he's constantly having to deal with Masanyani on the back of him. Still in the first round, three minutes elapsed. Just the strength, agility, and the, the grappling skills of Masanyani alone are, are frustrating Ogikubo here. We are witnessing a very interesting addition to the Pancras flyweight division. Still has the back, still popping in those knees. Yusuke Ogikubo still hanging on to that and looking for a way out of this so he can get back on the attack. Drops nice. to the double leg now and That's again. Under the legs, it's going to be a big slam. Slams him down. Ogikubo still staying alive in good position, postures up, but Kusanyane, he, he, he locks up the legs and he's climbing up the top. He climbs up, takes away the hips away from Ogikubo, so Ogikubo can't scoot out. Good top control. Masanyana very heavy. Uh, Ogibo doesn't look like he has a lot of options here. 
Sonyane. Sonyane with his Commonwealth Games level wrestling shining through here tonight. Right. Very heavy, very very low. Nice pass. He was looking for the mount. Yusuke Rikubo managed to bridge up out of it. <laughs> and but he gets thrown. Adjusted well. But he's still alive. He's still staying in a good position. Still he has that rounded back. He's doing his best to stay on his on his hips. And he's working that uh, that uh, oh, he's working a pass. Oh, almost got that sweep, but now he's on the leg of Usanyane. Whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh! Athletic agility. You can just hear the murmurs in the crowd. Everyone is just impressed. Yeah, they love to see these skills. As do we, and we're coming to the end of the first round. So far, it's all been Bokang Masunyane taking on the number five ranked flyweight Yusuke Ogikubo. There it is in the round one. Very frustrating round for Ogikubo, I can imagine. Here they are. Look at nice faints. faints. At the back control and the lift and the drop right to the back of the, the neck. High kick there, effortly taking oh, the gosh. effortlessly taking the back from that first takedown, and another slam. Just so strong and uh, dynamic. Look at that. <laughs> As you can guess, if you're watching at home, the open scoring from the judges. Announcement tells us Masunyane wins round one. That's right, but don't count Ogikubo out of this match yet. He Never has a lot of tools. Out. He has a lot of tools in his belt, and he's not hurt yet. And he's not allowed himself to get flustered Round either with, with the pressure and skills uh, of Bokang Masanyani's wrestling. That's right, so for Ogikubo's side, we're going to have to look at and see what is he going to do to solve this riddle. Masanyani is very unorthodox, very physically strong and very talented a very talented wrestler and he's clearly mixing his striking with his wrestling very well that's right dumps Ogikawo down again in the first 30 seconds of round two he's starting to land those elbows and that's what he needs to do to finish the fight that was my only uh hesitation so far for, for Masunyane is that all his fights, he, he's won them all, which is amazing and impressive, but he hasn't had any finishes yet. So I really just wanted to see what kind of a fighting style he had, but um, obviously very talented. Yeah, five foot one inches tall, known as the little giant, and he's given over five rank Yusuke Ogikubo a hell of a time here tonight at Pancras 307. Trying to get some good wrist control. He has the right hand of uh, Ogibo pinned down behind his back. It's a good opportunity for him to land some hard punches. Relentless wrestling pressure from the South African. He's got that single leg. Top. Good top control. Ogibo staying very busy. Yeah, he's not allowing his right. shoulders to be pinned. That's right. And look at that wrist control Gikubo is, uh, is using. It's, it's, it's very defensive, not allowing uh, Musanyana any opportunity to land those uh, dangerous ground punches. That's right. And as soon as he can, he gets in the butterfly hook, at least one, to create some space. Nice back control from Musanyana. He gets out to the side a little bit. He has the right side controlled. Gikubo against the cage. He land punches with the left hand. Ogikubo, Ogikubo is not making it easy though. He's defending with it with his free hand and he's staying up. Yeah, he's not just stay, staying alive. He's making it difficult for right. Masanyane to deal with him and to try and finish him with the ground and pound or submission. It's a good thing Ogikubo is also a, a fighter that prides himself on his stamina and is always in shape. Ooh, interesting position here. Masanyana doesn't quite have the single leg lock, doesn't have quite have the, the trunk controls that 10th Planet guys would, would, would call it, but uh, he switches to double leg hooks. 
When you're this short, that, that's it's difficult to actually leg ride. People don't really understand that very much, but you see a lot of the shorter, stockier fighters, they don't really leg ride as much. They don't uh, bother with top control so much. Well, looking for the mount position there, but it gave Okikibo the time to get back on their feet. It immediately drags him back down to the canvas. That's right. Okikibo threatened with the sweep himself, but the balance and physical uh, ability of Musignano just too much. Full guard now from Okikibo. Trying to push the head away, create some space. Musignano is not... Uh, giving Okikipo many holes. Not many chances for him to escape. Okikipo switching off his hips, trying to get a different angle, maybe threaten the neck of BK Masanyane. Siena is not giving it up. One minute left in round two. Yane just smothering Yusuke Ogikubo on the mat against the cage. I'm surprised Ogikubo is even able to breathe. Okay, back take himself. Thirty seconds left in round two. That's right, Ogikubo needs to get creative. He has to do something to answer Musanyane. Ogikubo doing well with that wizard. He loses it. Last ten seconds. Masignani has the back. Ogikubo popping in some elbows. Possibly the only strikes landed from Ogikubo so far tonight. Uh-oh, Ogikubo's looking a little more frustrated than, than after the first round. Looking very visibly frustrated there. Here's the second round action. Another back take, another dump from the South African. Ogikubo's in there. He tries a sweep of his own, but... Uh, Musanyane counters and gets to take down himself. Musanyane takes round two in the eyes of the judges. Open scoring has it. Rounds one and two in his favor. So, it doesn't take a rocket scientist <laughs> to figure out that Yusuke Ogikubo must stop him in the next five minutes. That is right. So these opening seconds are going to be very, very important because this is the range that Okibo will have any chance to win here. This is the, the space. Well, we do know. Oh, oh my gosh. Capoeira. Capoeira. <laughs> Kick. And he immediately gets Straight take down. Into the take down. Gosh. Okibo is still staying alive, but Musanyane, he's got that body lock again. He's got to watch out. Okibo's got to be careful if he goes for that kimura when he has that, that reverse body lock because he won't be able to uh, uh, brace himself off the slam. Yeah, and if your head hits the canvas, you can go out like a light. That's right. My first uh, pancreas fight was uh, uh, in here. Uh, someone tried to get that kimura on me and just picked him up, dropped him right on his head. His head bounced off the mat, and it was over in like 20 seconds. Slam KO. BK Masanyane all over Yusuke Ogikubo like a rash. Ogikubo trying to work that wizard again. He's got the right leg. And he needs to utilize that leverage against the shorter fighter. But Musanyane is strong. He is tough and very skilled at this is his wheelhouse. He's switching to the back. Nice. Just busy. Musiana is just busy. Yeah, he stays busy. He keeps looking for different ways to control and manhandle Ogikubo. 
you could most still dealing with this pressure from the back. Oh, kicks his leg kicks away. <laughs> Not even a takedown attempt, just a kick to the My back goodness. of the shin. <laughs> gonna have to write that one down. Keep that for next uh, next training session. <laughs> Five foot again. one, solid muscle, Masunyane. You can see Ogikubo just grinning in frustration. He's yeah. trying to work on that uh, that lock, but he is not opening it up. We are now coming to the halfway point of the third and final round. Could we see the South African making his Pancras debut today? Look for a submission finish. Excellent movement. Transitions to the back. Hasn't, hasn't put in the hooks yet, but staying heavy with the hips and knees on the back of Ogikubo. That's right, and I think that's on purpose. At his, at his size and stature, he doesn't want to sink his legs in. He wants to rely on his movement, his, uh, his footwork and his speed. He's just relentless with those kicks to the back of the calf of Ogikubo also. Two minutes left. Brings him down again. Ogikubo is getting rassled. He's got less than two minutes. Ogikubo's corner, they can only yell at him, stand up, stand up, but easier said than done. Throwing some hands in from the back position now, Masignani. Sam in the side control right now. Knee over the right arm of Wikubo. Looking for the crucifix. He's just punching away there. Oh, watch out. He, he, he could set up the, the arm lock here. He uses the Nelson to put him back. Put his back against the uh, mat again. Whoa, big knee. Oh. Nasty looking knees there. One minute left in the third and final round of this flyweight matchup here at Pancras 307. You see, I'm a close is hooking up that kimono, that arm lock. It's there. He gives it up. He's in the back mount, back position again. He was so close, not able to break that lock, not able to get out. 40 seconds left. He's getting desperate. He's hooking up that Kimura lock. 30 seconds, it's still all Bokang Masanyane with another takedown. <laughs> Just dropping him on his head. I lost count how many uh, head slams there. Here's another, another one. one. Highlight real material for the South African. Yikes. Last 10 seconds. Mas Masanyane staying busy to the very last second. Ogikubu not giving up, struggling but not giving up, My he goodness. gave everything he could, he tried to do what his corner was asking of him but just dominated. Yikes, this guy is just, it's like he just warmed up. He's I was thinking that when he came <laughs> out of the first round he was barely breathing heavily and I thought that was a warm up for him. Oh, wow. That was a beautiful kick. Oh my goodness. Look at that slam. Just backdrop after backdrop. <laughs> Amazing stuff. Unfortunately, with that backdrop, you need to control one of the arms so that you take away the ability of the opponent to, uh, to brace himself. To do the Ukemi. It's unanimous. All the way from South Africa making his Pancras debut. Strongly here today, Bokang Masunyane. Another backflip for you. <laughs> this raises some big questions for the division now. That's right. And it's good to see somebody of this level and still young in his career coming into the division at this time. That's right. I'd I like to see him uh, focus on a little bit more uh, on his finishes, his grappling finishes and his stand-up. Then you might even get see another like uh, another Mighty Mouse. Yeah. Well, Some so far he's looking like he has a, a massive amount of potential. Yes, exactly. Great Pancras debut. 
from the South African here today. Congratulations.